Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this Russian spiral stitch bracelet with bugle beads that are 7 millimeters. It's easy to make, it's extremely easy to make I mean and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure that even if you are a beginner you will be able to make it by yourself. By the way, this is not my first tutorial for Russian Spiral. I had uh, one of the first tutorials in my channel was for this Russian Spiral stitch. And then I did these bracelets. But back then I got comments that nothing is visible, nothing is explained well. So it's not understandable. That is why I decided to do a remake of this video and I did these color combinations of creamy bugle beads and seed beads and in future I will show you more and more variation of this Russian spiral stitch uh, maybe I'll show you with uh, pearls or ato beads or and with smaller bugle beads and combination of both bugle beads and other different type of beads so if you like what I'm showing you here please subscribe and you will be inspired often, usually twice a week. Down there in description, you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. You will also find a link to my second channel. So now, guys, I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are 7mm bugle beads in this beautiful creamy color. Here I use 11 o seed beads or you could use 10 o seed beads if you want. These are in chameleon color. I use lobster's claw clasp, you could use any type of clasp you like. And I use a jump ring. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 mm size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers that I use to go through the difficult beads if needed and to attach my jump ring. Okay so now I'm going to take a comfortable length of thread on my needle let's say an arm span of thread and I'll be back to tell you how we start. Okay guys and I'm starting by picking up a bugle bead, a seed bead, a bugle bead, a seed bead, a bugle bead, and a seed bead. Okay, and now I have three bugle beads and three seed beads. I'm going to slide those down, but I wanna what I wanna do here is leave a tail that I will finish my work with later. And let's say this tail is uh, 25 centimeters or 10 inches. Okay, so now what I wanna do is go around through all of those beads in circle just like this and I pull and now guys this is what I have I have a triangle here and what I want to do is reinforce this triangle Okay, I'm reinforcing it and now I prefer to flip my work in this direction because it's easier to me for me to work like this. I'm right-handed. If you prefer, do this in the other direction. Okay, and now I'm exiting here out of this bugle bead. And what I want to take is a C bead and a bugle bead. Okay, this is what I take. Then I go through the following seed bead, just like this. Okay, now what I want to do is stack those beads one on top of each other, okay? One on top of the other, sorry. So now I'm taking a seed bead and a bugle bead, like this. And I go through the following seed bead here, this one. Ok, 
okay then when I pull my work is starting to form here okay this is my tail thread uh, first a few rows are the most difficult and then it starts getting easier and easier okay but what I do is also really easy I take a seed bead and a bugle bead all the time and you see how here I have two beads and what I want to do is to go through the top one and how I find which is the top one I just pull tight and uh, it comes over the other one and this is how I know where I should go okay now I pull and I have this and always go through the top seed bead okay now I take one and one bugle and I go through the top seed bead that's on my way okay now I have this you see how it starts forming one and one more and I go here through the next seed bead okay guys you see here I have three here I have two but in a while when I take a seed bead and a bugle bead here at this side I will also have three beads and now it's the time to step up in my next way next row you see how it looks I will show you one or two more rows just to see how it forms okay a seed bead and a bugle bead go here and this is the Russian spiral stitch it's really easy especially in this variation probably later I will show you a more dif difficult variations with more seed beads and with different seed beads let's say bugle beads combined with small pearls or fire polished crystals and um, smaller bugle beads than these and there are so many different variations so tell me in the comments if you want me to show you different ones and there are a lot of great tutorials uh, out there like G Jill Weissman's tutorials for Russian spiral with um, fire polished beads and it's really really beautiful you could check it out when you're out right in YouTube this tutorial okay so I'm showing one more time I'll show you how it looks up to here and I will continue off camera making it more with more and more rows and I'll be back to show you how it looks in a while okay guys and when I continue beading this is what I have I'm exiting out of this seed bead here you see and here what I want to do is make a knot and cut my thread because my thread is over okay I'm making here a loop I'm going once and I'm going second time through this loop I've made and I pull and I could make several more knots just to be sure it's all tight and secure and then guys I will cut my thread okay but now by my bracelet is not uh, long enough that is why I'm going to add a new thread you see here I already have prepared a new thread on my needle and you see I want to exit through the same place where I was exiting from I want to exit through one of those seed beads here on my way with my new thread and first I should attach my new thread and how I'm doing this I'm going here through this seed bead pulling 
Here I have a small tail and I'm holding it with my fingers, with my thumb. And here what I want to do is make a knot and how I'm making it. I make a loop and I go twice as I showed you in a while. Okay. Then I pull. And then what I want to do is go through all of those seed beads in this direction. And I'm exiting at the same place where I was before. Now I'm going to take, I will continue the same way after I added my thread. I'm taking one seed bead and one bugle bead. And I'm going through the following seed bead like this. Then again, a seed bead, a bugle bead, and I'm going through the following. Then again, a seed bead, a bugle bead, and I go here through the top one. Okay? And now, guys, I will continue this until I have the desired length. And of course, what else? I should do is cut this tail thread here, okay, of the newly added thread. And I will continue this and when I'm ready with the desired length, I will be back to tell you how to finish your bracelet. Okay guys, and when I continue beading, this is what I have now. My bracelet is 17 centimeters, which is 6.7 inches long. I prefer to make it longer because of the thickness of the bracelet. The inner diameter is smaller, okay, that's why I'm making it longer than usual. And now guys, uh, what I want to do is show you how to attach your clasp. Here I'm using lobster's claw clasp. And what I want to do now is pick up four seed beads, okay, four of them. Then I take my clasp and go through it. I'm exiting out of this seed bead, if you didn't see in the beginning where I'm exiting out of. Now I need to take four seed beads, okay, four. Then I'm going here through this seed bead, like that. Okay, now I have my clasp attached here, but what I want to do is attach it from the third side in order to make it centered. Okay, and in order to do this, I'm going through this bugle bead in this direction. Okay, like this. Now you see here, I'm going through this seed bead, that is the top seed bead. Okay. And what I want to do is take four more seed beads. Okay, I have my four here and I'm going again through this clasp. Okay, and I pull. Now guys, I will go around several times through all of those beads in circle in order to make my clasp be firm because most of the time the wicked spot of a bracelet is the clasp. Okay guys, and you could go on and on reinforcing this part. And when you're ready, you go through some beads in this direction. And what you do next is that you find a place to make a knot and cut your thread. Okay, let me do my knot here and I'm doing it the same way I showed you before. 
making a loop, going once, going second time through this loop I've made, I pull and then I could make several more knots and when I'm ready I cut my thread and one side of my bracelet is ready. You see how I did it? I will do the same thing from the other side but with a loop of beads here at the top and I'll be back to show you the final result. Okay guys, and what I did from the other side is absolutely the same thing, but here instead of a clasp I put a central bead that I went through and I did this loop and then a knot that cut my thread is similar to this one here. And now I'm going to show you how to attach your jump ring. Okay, I open this one up. I put it here and I squeeze back and now guys my Russian spiral bracelet with bugle beads is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself and down there in description you will find a full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful works that you did following my tutorials. And you could also check my Fast Clips channel, link also in description. Thank you so much for watching, bye bye for me.